you've been to a UTEP game this year, you know the game. Beat Dancing Bobby from the Outlet Mall in a dance competition, and you win free oil changes for a year. Usually it doesn't go very well for the contestants, uh, but this is, this is how you beat Dancing Bobby. You bring out the Step Up crew. What do you want? Are these the Jabberwockies? This isn't fair. He does this for a living. Dancing Bobby, that is. You can't embarrass a man like that. Come on. I don't know, man. I don't have moves like that. Do you have moves like that? Joe Golding, he might have moves like that. I don't know. In game at the Don Haskins Center tonight. UTEP hosting Rice, trying to lock up the Conference USA West Division 4 seed for next week's Conference USA tournament in Frisco. And year one under Joe Golding, the Miners have the fifth best record in the league, but the fourth best in their own division because of the strength of the West Division. Based on that, maybe the Miners go on a run next week in Frisco. First things first, though, sweep the season series with the Owls tonight. A win would also give UTEP its first winning conference record in five years. Early going. Keontae Kennedy, Euro step floater is good. He had 16 points. The Miners actually led this game by 12 points early at 30 to 18, but back come the Owls. Carl Pierre, bucket plus the foul. He had 30 points. This one tied at 34 at the break. Second half, the Owls continue to fly. Max Fiedler almost had a triple double in this one, lays it up and in. They were up by 11 points with 12 minutes to go, but then the Miners rally. Jamal Bienemy huge down the stretch. Floater falls, ties it at 63 with four minutes to go, and then it's Sule Boom with two minutes to play. Driving right past it, gives the Miners the lead. They would lead by three points with three seconds to go. Here is Kennedy inbounding the ball, just throws it away. Fiedler tracks it down from half court to tie. Whoa! Way too close right there. UTEP hangs on, though, for the 70-67 to 67 win. So they'll be the fourth seed in next week's Conference USA tournament. They already know that they'll play Old Dominion next Wednesday night in Frisco to open the tournament. Still one regular season game left, though. KTSM's 9, Sam Guzman, was on hand for all the action. He filed this report tonight. It was another close, tight game here at the Don Haskins Center. It just feels like... We were in the same position a couple days ago, but this time UTEP came out on top, beating the Rice Owls 73-70. Second half, Rice came out firing on all cylinders and showcasing why they're such a great shooting team. But UTEP showcased resiliency and toughness down the stretch to steal the win and a big one here at home. You know, they did, they continue to answer the bell. They 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 uh, they let us. They wake up every day, come to practice, let us coach. This team's been through a bunch, man. Yeah, they they, uh, they they just find a way, man. And and I'm proud they won at home. It's just the toughness of this group. We have we've been going, uh, dealing with so much adversity from game one, injury, sickness, illnesses. So it's just been just the mentality of the next one, keep playing, next player. So. It's just all about toughness. That's all it comes down to in March. Just how we've been all year, I feel like that's what we pride ourselves on, um, being tough, uh, never never giving up, and just keep fighting. And we feel like if we keep fighting, it's going to work out for us in the end. With this win, UTEP secures their first winning record in league play since the 2016-17 season and the fourth seed in the Conference USA West Division. Up next for the Miners is a big home game against the CUSA West Division leader, North Texas. Coach Golding and his squad looking to take the best shot they have on Saturday. Reporting from the Don Haskell. Center, Sam Guzman, KTSM 9 Sports.